Hello everyone, I hope you are doing great. In this video we focus uh, on uh, Gronwald's inequality and more precisely we pay attention to the differential form of the Gronwald inequality. Gronwald's inequality is a very useful tool in uh, obtaining uh, appropriate estimates in uh, ordinary differential equations. It's a very significant tool to obtain these uh, estimates in uh, ODEs, especially with regards to the solution of the ordinary differential equation. It's a really important tool. And it was discovered by the mathematician uh, Gronwall, who was one of the greatest mathematicians of the last uh, century, and he was from Sweden. Now let's see, uh, so we have an interval which is a subset of R, where R is the real line and this uh, variable T belongs to this interval, so T belongs to I. We have two functions, F, G, uh, which are uh, continuous functions in the interval I, so this C means that this is the class of continuous functions in the interval capital I, if f of t is differentiable function at the interior of I and satisfy, satisfies the differential inequality of this form where f prime of t is less or equal to the product of f times g, then the f of t is bounded by f of a times e to the integral from a to t g of s ds for every t in this uh, uh, interval i. Now let's uh, start with the proof. So we take f prime of t bounded by this product of uh, f of t times g of t. Let's take everything to the left hand side. So f prime of t minus f of t g of t less or equal to zero. Now we multiply both sides with an integrating uh, factor f of t times e to the minus integral from a to t g of s ds minus f of t g of t e to the minus integral from a to t g of s ds less or equal to zero. So this is f prime of t, sorry. So we have f prime of t and the integrating factor And how can we write this? f of t times e to the minus integral from a to t g of s ds prime. So if we take the derivative of this, we have this exponential that, that remains times the derivative of minus integral from a to t g of s ds. So this is minus g of t. So we have this, uh, what is this? This is the product rule. So when we take uh, the derivative of uh, the product of two functions is the first uh, functions prime times the second function and the first function times the derivative of the second function. So it will be d dt f of t times e to the minus integral from a to t g of s ds and this is bounded by the dt of c because the derivative of a constant function is equal to zero so from here we can obtain easily that f of t times e to the minus integral from a to t g of s ds less or equal to 
this constant c this is just a arbit a constant okay now let's multiply with uh, we multiply both sides now with e to the integral a from a to t g of s ds it's c times e integral from a to t g of s ds the product of this uh, is e e to the power of 0 which is 1 so we have f of t bounded by a constant times the integrating factor uh, function this function now let's put t is equal to a so this becomes f of a less or equal to c times e to the integral from a to a g of s ds but uh, this integral we know that uh, when the limits of integration are the same then this integral is equal to zero so e to the power of zero is one times c so f of a is less or equal to this constant c consequently f of t is bounded by f of a times e to the integral from a to t g of s ds and thus the proof is completed the proof is really straightforward but you need to pay attention what the integrating factor is in this case so let's go to do a quick review we have an interval i which is a subset of r and we have the two functions that are a class of continuous functions in the interval i f of t is a differentiable function and satisfies this differential inequality then then we have we have this this uh, differential form of uh, Gronwall inequality so we start the proof we use this inequality at the beginning we take everything to the left hand side we have this integrating factor we multiply with this integrating factor both sides So here um, we write uh, this uh, more properly in order to have this uh, product rule. So we have this is equal to the derivative of t of this expression. And this is bounded by d dt of c, which uh, c is just a constant, not to be confused with the c that we have previously, which is the class of continuous functions. So from here we go here to the to this point we multiply with the inverse of the integrating factor both sides of the inequality and we isolate f of t to be at the left hand side so this is bounded by a constant times the inverse of the integrating factor function here so substituting for t to be equal to a this becomes that f of a is bounded by a constant times e to the integral from a to a this integral is equal to zero when the limits of integrations are the same and consequently we deduce that f of t is less or equal to the f to a times e to the power e to the integral from a to t g of s ds there is also the the Gronwall inequality, the integral form of a Gronwall inequality, but maybe could be this a topic for a next video or so. Uh, this is very wide. This inequality is very widely used as a tool in ODEs.
and is uh, usually teach uh, in an in a PDE course or ODE course. It depends on the on the instructor. So thank you for your attention and your time, and I hope that you are doing great.